students. Today we're going to read Miss Fiona's Stupendous Pumpkin Pies by Mark Kimball Moulton, illustrated by Karen Hilliard Crouch. Do you know what stupendous means? It means wonderful, fantastic, great, awesome. Let's read and find out how wonderful Miss Fiona's pumpkin pies really are. Miss Fiona's Stupendous Pumpkin Pies. Down past the spooky graveyard and across the stubbled fields, there lies a big old haunted house where all the paint has peeled. The shutters on the windows hang crooked, if at all. The roof is in such bad repair, it looks like it might fall. There's a stone wall in the side yard and a crooked picket fence an old barn sits behind the house that isn't worth two cents. I heard some rhymes, did you? All fall, fence sense. You'll have to listen for them. In the garden, there's a scarecrow with his stuffing all falling out. And everywhere you look, you see stray cats lying about. The, this house appears deserted but it is still occupied, although some believe its occupants can disappear and fly. The old woman, Miss Fiona, lives here with all her cats. A horse and a cow live in the barn, along with several bats. Now legend says Fiona is four hundred years and three, though she never looked much older than two hundred years to me. She walks a bit stooped over and wears a long black dress, and underneath her pointed hat, her hair's a stringy mess. One eye is larger than the other. There's a big wart on her nose, and on her feet are bright red shoes with doodads on the toes. Some folks think she's kooky, dressed like a witch on Halloween, but that just proves appearances aren't always what they seem for she keeps a tidy garden with a good-sized pumpkin patch, and every Halloween she serves fresh pumpkin pie from scratch. Sometime in late October, Miss Fiona starts her yield and brings in all her pumpkins from her big old pumpkin field. Pumpkins line her windowsills and pumpkins line her floor. She has so many pumpkins, some come rolling out the door. She keeps pumpkins in her attic and some in her wood shed. There are even some who will tell you she keeps pumpkins in her bed. Then on the day of Halloween and not one day before, Fiona gathers all her pumpkins and begins her yearly chore. She hangs a cauldron on the fire to bubble and to boil. She chops and peels and rolls and stirs in a frenzied baking toil. Now and then she'll cackle as she checks her recipe. Then she'll peek over her shoulder to make sure no one sees. For her ingredients are secret, but as she sets each pie to cool, that spicy scent that fills the air makes everybody drool. No matter how you beg and plead, Fiona holds her ground. Not one piece of pie is served till midnight rolls around. As angels, spooks, and goblins start to gather in the street, the night is filled with laughter and the cries of trick-or-treat. Black cats and ballerinas run to each house and in between, wishing every witch and ghost a happy Halloween. But the last house that we visit, as midnight hour draws nigh, is down past the spooky graveyard for a slice of pumpkin pie. Boys and girls for miles around come knocking at her door, dressed in such frightful costumes as vampires and dinosaurs. Miss Fiona shrieks and giggles as she welcomes each new guest, then sends them to the backyard to wait with all the rest. As the witching hour creeps closer, Fiona steps out on her porch with a crow upon her shoulder and in her hand a burning torch. She surveys all her visitors and we wave and smile to greet her. Then she slowly lets her spooky gaze fall on one special trick or treat her. She points and crooks her finger and waggles her eyebrows and cackles 
Come here, my dearie. I need help inside my house. This year, it's a pink rabbit that is Miss Fiona's choice. We all look at her with envy, all the little girls and boys, for it's quite the supreme honor to help Fiona serve her pies, a most distinguished, rare accomplishment to be so recognized. The seconds tick by slowly. The anticipation grows. The moon peeks out behind the clouds. The wind begins to blow. Then far off in the distance, the church bells begin to peal. And from inside her kitchen, we hear Miss Fiona squeal. Oh, come all you witches. Come clowns and pirates too. Come celebrate this Halloween and bring your friends with you. With that, Fiona's helper throws the front door open wide and beckons every girl and boy to come and step inside. The house is warm and cozy with carved pumpkins everywhere, though you do have to be careful not to get cobwebs in your hair. Owls hoot in the pantry, cats lie at Fiona's feet. From upstairs, we hear wails and moans that make Halloween complete. The pies are most delicious and she also serves warm cider. Then she passes out souvenir rings in the shape of creepy spiders. And after every one of us has had cider and been fed, she tells us spooky stories that make our eyes pop from our heads. And as we leave, she sends us home with an extra slice of pie for mom and dad and grandma who wait up till we arrive. Most folks are very curious about Fiona and her ways, but mostly it's her pumpkin pies we talk about for days. I must admit Fiona's cookie with her warts and pale green skin, but who cares how kooky someone looks when there's goodness deep within. Still, I scratch my head and wonder when folks ask the secret to her pie, cause she'll wink and snort and cackle to everyone's surprise. Just take one big plump ripe pumpkin Add a lizard and a toad, stir in a few good bat wings, and serve it a la mode. Do you think that's really her recipe? Oh, I doubt it. If everybody enjoys it so much, I don't think there's strange things in it. I hope you enjoyed Miss Fiona's stupendous pumpkin pies. Remember, stupendous means fantastic. Wonderful.